Hello, and thank you for joining us again on A Walk With God. And I just want to, uh, something that's been just really pressing on my heart about the modern church. Many modern churches aren't preaching the fact that hell exists, and hell is a, a real place. And I just want to stress the fact that it is definitely a place you don't want to go. Uh, if you have been brought up in a denomination that doesn't preach about hell or d- doesn't see that hell is real and then when you die, you know, God loves you and you're just going to go to heaven or you just kind of div- dissolve into nothingness if you're not a, a Christ follower, uh, you know, you, you've got to hear these words. Hell is a for real place and it is nothing but torment and torture and pain and suffering for all eternity. And just picture that for a second. Picture being in the worst place you've ever been in for just a couple moments. Or you have burned yourself in the stove or, or you burned yourself in a campfire or whatever the case may be. Or just a, a, a moment uh, being, you know, being in contact with a flame. And just picture eternity. And I'm not talking an hour or a day or a week or a year, but eternity millennia upon millennia upon millennia that'll never end and uh, I just want to stress the fact that you definitely do not want to go there and it is so important that we open our eyes to this fact that you know churches today aren't, aren't, aren't speaking about these things they're, they're preaching this feel-good message that you, know, you do all you do all these things and God's gonna bless you and when you die you're just gonna go right to heaven well I'm here to tell you that uh, even Jesus Christ himself speaks about hell and that uh, it is throughout scripture, hell is a for real place. You do not want to go there. But there is hope. The only way to avoid hell and enter heaven, because there's only two places when we die, when we pass from this earth, there's only two places. We either go to heaven or hell. Hell was created for the devil and his demons. And heaven is a wonderful place where our Lord and Savior is sitting right now waiting to come and remove his bride off the earth. Where his Father, God, exists. The only way to heaven, the only way to peace and tranquility and to love forever and ever and ever is through Jesus Christ. Trust and believe that that his blood paid for your sins. Trust and believe that he ministered, that he died on that cross that he not only was beaten before being crucified but he died on that cross and took our place he took the place of sin and death for us he paid the price that we deserved and that he was buried trust and believe that he was after being crucified that he was uh, buried in a tomb cut out of stone that he rose three days later to his father raised him from the dead three days later And that he ministered to people, hundreds of people, and then he ascended shortly thereafter. And he is seated at the right hand of his Father in heaven, waiting to remove his bride, waiting to come and take all those who love and believe and trust in him off the earth before the tribulation. Before, you know, the event will be called the rapture when he comes and removes us. But right before the tribulation begins, he'll remove us, all that trust and believe in him. And all those who don't trust and believe, all those who refuse to, uh, to accept his grace, to accept his love, and when they die, all those who do not accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and believe and trust in that, that they will go to hell. And hell is a place you do not want to be. Hell is for real. Please study scripture if you don't believe in hell or and if, and if you're not a, a Christ follower if you're not a Christian and this sounds crazy to you and this is all fairy tale that you know heaven and and hell and then when we die we just dissolve into nothing well that's not true heaven and hell are for real and you do not want to go to hell Jesus Christ made a way he paid the price for all of our sins when he died on that cross he paid the price the price that we deserved And you can have everlasting peace and love and joy if you so choose it, but you've got to choose Jesus Christ. It is the only way to
to get into heaven. It is the only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ. So please, today, if, if you're not sure about this, please read scripture. But if, if, you, if you know these words I'm speaking of and you're on the fence today, give your life to Jesus Christ. Trust and believe that, that he is the Savior. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that he, that he died for our sins and that he rose from the dead. Trust and believe he is waiting to bring us home to him. Guys, this is serious. This is so, uh, this is extremely important. This is the most important decision of your life is understanding where your eternity is going to be and believing that Jesus Christ is your Savior. Ask Him to be your Savior. Ask Him to remove your sins and just have a relationship with Him. Read His Word. Pray to Him. Speak to Him. Love and help others. He he says that he gave us a new command to first love God and to love others. And all of the other commands are wrapped up into that. Today, give your life to Jesus Christ. Commit to him. Trust and believe that he is the Messiah, that he is the Savior. Believe, please, today. Our time is short. He is at the door ready to take his bride, his people, his loved ones home to him. Anyway, I know this was quick. I know there's a lot more to say about this, but please begin to open your eyes to this matter. Watch my other videos if you must, but please today, give your life to Jesus Christ. Believe in Him. Trust in Him. Have a relationship with Him. Help others. We have a blessed day. Hope these words find you well. It's in Jesus' precious and holy name, the name above all their names, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. Bye-bye.